A two-bitful adder is a logic circuit which performs addition of three numbers. It has three inputs, A, B, and C1 for addition, and three outputs, C3, S2, and S1. Input A and B are two-bit binary numbers. C1 comes from the addition of the previous digit. The new carry C3 and the new sums S2 and S1 are calculated from the addition of A, B, and C1. This is the addition table for two-bit binary numbers A plus B plus 0 when the C1 equals 0. This is the addition table for two-bit binary numbers A plus B plus 1 when C1 equals 1. Input A is a 2-bit binary number, which consists of two single-bit numbers, A2 and A1, as well as input B, verification of the 2-bit full adder. There are 32 possible states to verify the 2-bit full adder. I've already checked the circuit working correctly in all states. However, in this video, it's too many to show all of them, so I need to select several states for verification. First, we've already verified the single bit full adder of these eight possible states, and by considering the symmetry of the addition table, we can reduce to 14 possible states. So, I picked up eight states with yellow circles. Reset clock 3, clock 2, carry 1, and clock 1. Input A2 equals 1. Input A1 equals 0. Input B2 equals 0. And input B1 equals 1. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers two XOR gates and four equal gates. Carry one equals zero. Next, activate clock two. This clock pulse activates the two switching pins of the two second XOR gate. However, carry 3 stays 0. Finally, activate clock 3. This clock pulse activates a 2 second XOR gate. As a result, this is 0, 1, 1 in binary or 3 in decimal. Reset clock 3, clock 2 carry 1 and clock 1. Input A2 equals 1. Input A1 equals 0. Input B2 equals 1. Input B1 equals 0. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers the left and gate and activate this equal gates. Carry 1 equals 0. Next, activate clock 2. This clock pulse activate carry 3. Finally, activate clock 3. This clock pulse is not forwarded to the output sum 2 and sum 1. As a result, this is 1, 0, 0 in binary or 4 in decimal. Reset clock 3, clock 2, carry 1 and clock 1. Input A2 equal 1, 
input a1 equals 1, input b2 equals 1, and input b1 equals 0. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers the left and gate, and activate this equal gates. It also triggers the right XOR gate and activate two equal gates. Carry one equals zero. Next, activate clock two. This clock pulse activates carry three and write second XOR. Finally, activate clock three. This clock pulse is forwarded to the output of sum one. As a result, this is one, zero, one in binary or five in decimal. Reset clock three, clock two, carry one, and clock one. Input A2 equals one, input A1 equals one, input B2 equals one, and input B1 equals one. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers both AND gate and activate two equal gates. Carry 1 equals 0. Next, activate clock 2. This clock pulse activate carry 3 and left second XOR gates. Finally, activate clock 3. This clock pulse is forwarded to the output of sum 2. As a result, this is 1, 1, 0 in binary or 6 in decimal. Reset clock 3 clock 2, carry 1, and clock 1. Input A2 equals 1, input A1 equals 0, input B2 equals 0, and input B1 equals 1. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers both the first XOR gates and activate these four equal gates. Now, carry one is set to one. This pulse activate clock two and carry three. And also this pulse activate all switching pins of both second XOR gates. Finally, activate clock three. This clock pulse is not forwarded to the sum 2 and sum 1. As a result, this is 1, 0, 0 in binary or 4 in decimal. Reset clock 3, clock 2, carry 1, and clock 1. Input A2 equals 1, A1 equals 0. Input B2 equals 1, input B1 equals 0. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers left and gate. And activate this equal gates. Now, carry 1 is set to 1. This pulse shift a switch pin of right second XOR gate. Next, activate clock 2. This pulse activate carry 3. Finally, activate clock 3. This clock pulse is forwarded to the output of sum 1. As a result, this is one, 
0, 1 in binary or 5 in decimal. Reset clock 3, clock 2, carry 1, and clock 1. Input A2 equals 1, A1 equals 1, B2 equals 1, B1 equals 0. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers left AND gate and right XOR gate and activate these three switching pins. Now, carry 1 is set to 1. This pulse pushes clock 2 and carry 3. And also this pulse activate three switching pins of the second XOR gate. Finally, activate clock three. This clock pulse is forwarded to the output of sum two. As a result, this is one, one, zero in binary or six in decimal. Finally, reset. Clock 3, clock 2, carry 1, and clock 1. A2 equals 1, A1 equals 1, B2 equals 1, B1 equals 1. First, activate clock 1. This clock pulse triggers both AND gate and activate two equal gates. Now, carry one is set to one. This pulse pushes a switching pin of the right second XOR gate. Next, activate clock two. This pulse activate carry three and the switching pin with the left second XOR gate. Finally, activate clock 3. This clock pulse is forwarded to the output of sum 2 and sum 1. As a result, this is 1, 1, 1 in binary or 7 in decimal. This 2-bit full adder seems to work correctly. Mechanisms of the 2-bit full adder. There are two set of single-bit full adders with connections of three clocks and the carry two. This is the frame. This is a connected clock 3. With switching pins. These are guys for coupling plate. These are output S2 and S1 with switching pins. This plate is an output of the AND gate. This plate is output of XOR gate. This also output of and gate. This one is XOR gate. This is a clock one plate.
this clock one plate activate four logical gate simultaneously. There are input plates A2, B2, A1, and B1. There are links from the first XOR gate to the second XOR gate. These equal gates can transfer the vertical movement to the horizontal direction. These plates are carry 3 and carry 2. These are spacers to reduce the friction. This is a clock to plate. Set the clock to plate here. This is an input plate for carry one. This is an input plate for carry two. This one is connected to the output of carry two. Finally, these are coupling plates for AND gates and XOR gates. Also, coupling plate and XOR gate. And now, we completed building the 2-bit full adder. Thank you for watching.